Hi guys, uh, this lesson is about dealing with arrays of numbers. So the first thing you need to do at the beginning of this lesson is to update your TBS. So just right click here and go to team and then pull and you should get the latest version. Um, now if it gives you some errors then there are a couple of things you can try. So the first is go to reset and choose hard and then reset. Um, and the second one is to go to um, advanced and choose clean. Now you might have some things to clean here, so select all and then finish. Um, after you've tried the reset and clean, you might find that you are able to pull again. Um, so the reason why it sometimes won't let you pull straight away is if you have uh, accidentally change something inside TBS then it doesn't want to pull because it doesn't want to delete what you've changed so the reset and clean um, might get rid of uh, the changes that you've made and allow you to pull again okay so let me know if you still have trouble uh, updating your TBS but I'm going to assume that uh, you've done that and let's get started with the video Okay, so um, one of the things that's been added to TPS this time is a data set. Um, and the data set is an array of integers, actually two arrays. You can have a look at it inside here. So it's a data set about um, posts made to integra Instagram um, and the number of likes that they get. Okay, so there are two arrays of integers. And um, in this case, array we've got the number of posts per day and in this array the number of likes per day so this means that um, on the uh, first day there were 11 posts made to Instagram and a total of 159 likes I get this I guess this person is quite popular um, and then on the second day there were 12 posts made to Instagram and then there were 157 likes and then the next day another 12 posts 162 likes so what we're going to do to uh, draw our graph is to go through these arrays in order. We're going to take this number and use that as the x-axis value. And we're going to take this number and use it as the y-axis value. And then we're going to plot it on the graph. Okay, there are 30 values in total um, because this is taken over one month. So um, first of all, uh, we need to have a way to plot a point. OK, so um, what we're going to do is create a new method. Um, I'm going to call it draw cross. And this method is going to need to have an X and a Y coordinate. So I write screen dot draw line. Now I'll do X minus three and Y minus three. X plus three and Y plus three. OK, so um, to get an idea of what this does, let's just try drawing a cross at 0, 0. Now this is set up for uh, drawing a graph. So 0, 0 is in the centre of the screen here. Um, and if we run it, we're going to get one line, a diagonal line like that. That's because we've gone from x minus 3, y minus 3, which is the bottom left corner, to x plus 3 y plus 3 which is the top right corner of the line. So now I can do a line going in the other direction as well. Just do that by swapping around the plus and minus. Okay and that gives me a little cross. So that uh, allows me to draw crosses wherever I like. Okay I can uh, draw a couple of crosses. Let's do another one at 10 comma 10. OK, so there's two crosses. OK, now that's going to be useful um, for drawing our graph. So um, now the next thing I have to do is to go through um, the array uh, inside Instagram likes, go through all of these values and use the draw cross to draw those values onto the screen. So um, let's think about how to do that. Now, the first thing is I need to use a for loop. OK, and um, there are 
this many data points so this will actually equal 30 but rather than writing the number 30 I'm going to write this because um, this makes the meaning clear um, that I'm I'm not just counting to 30 for any arbitrary reason but I'm counting to 30 because it is the number of data points okay so I write 4 int index equals 0 index is less than Instagram likes dot num data index plus equals one. So this is a for loop which starts off at zero and then it continues as long as index is less than 30 which is the number of data points and each time we add one to index. Okay so now what we need to do is get the values out of the array. Okay now remember these are integer arrays and we're counting 0, 1, 2, 3 until we get to 30. So we can read out those values. Let's uh, do posts per day. Uh, let's just, just call it posts equals Instagram likes dot posts per day. And then I want to get the value at position index. OK, so when index is 0, this gets the zeroth number from that array, which in this case would be 11. And then the same one here. So this is likes equals Instagram likes dot likes per day at index. OK, so for example, if this was starting and index was zero, this would get the value 159. OK, so now um, post is going to be on the X axis and Y is going to be on the Y axis. Likes is going to be on the Y axis. Sorry. So I write draw across posts comma likes. OK, and that's going to draw across at that position. So if I run it, we see that the crosses are all sort of squashed in a small space. And that's because if we have a look here, all of these values are quite close together. OK, it's the number of posts per day. Um, and at the moment we're plotting, um, we're using these as pixel coordinates. So on the screen, the difference between a pixel at position 11 and position 19 is not very big. Right. Um, so um, it's OK on this axis because these are bigger numbers. So there's more spacing between each data point but on this axis the data points are a bit close together so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale those data points um, so for the number of posts per day I'm going to multiply them by 10 um, to make the axis a little bit larger let's try it again okay and now the the data points are kind of spaced out now the other problem that I've got is that the data points are um, up here on the right a little bit um, so this is because the center of my screen, 0, 0, is right in the middle here. OK, that's the origin. But all of the values here are positive. Um, so it means that I'm only actually plotting in the top right quadrant of my graph. So I've got a lot of wasted space um, in the rest of my graph. So I can solve that. Um, what I could do is when I draw across, uh, because I want the uh, position that I draw that cross um, to be in the bottom left, that's actually at position minus 200 and minus 200 on my graph. So I can subtract 200 from my x coordinate and from my y coordinate so that all of the crosses are drawn relative to the bottom left of my graph. So if I do that, you can see that now the, um, the crosses have appeared and they're sort of tapering off to this bottom left part of my graph. OK, so um, that sort of gives us a really simple um, graph plot. Now, um, there are a couple of things that I want you to have a go at um, in order to add to this graph plot. Um, and they uh, start off easy and get a little bit harder. OK, so um, the first one is uh, let's have a grid on our graph. So you might remember before we had a look at creating a grid. Um, here's an example. I might do x equals 0. x is less than 400. Um, actually, sorry, this is going from minus 200 to 200. 
um, and x plus equals 10 and then I can uh, draw a line screen dot draw line so x minus 200 to x 200 um, now if I run that that gives me some vertical lines right now they are spaced together a little bit too closely I think so it's difficult to read there it also might help if I change the color of those lines so let's set the color to be blue and then let's set the color here to be white okay so now I've got some uh, blue lines in the background um, now what I would like to have is a grid okay so as well as vertical lines I would like to have horizontal lines and I think those vertical lines are too close together so I would like them to be more spread out uh, now I would suggest that we maybe have uh, vertical lines every uh, 50 pixels maybe and horizontal lines maybe every 50 pixels um, but you could experiment a little bit um, to create a grid that looks best for the data that we've got. Okay, so the first task is to create the grid. Now the second task is a little bit more tricky. Okay, what I want you to have a go at doing is um, you are going to add up all of the posts per day and then divide by the number of data items in order to get the average. Okay, and then the same here you're going to add up all of the likes per day and divide by how many data points there are in order to get the average. Now that gives you the average number of uh, posts and the average number of likes and you can plot that on the graph. Okay, so we'll use another color again. Uh, we're going to do this average point as a red cross. So we're going to have one red cross and it should appear sort of in the middle of, this, of these crosses. Um, so I guess it's going to be about here, I don't know exactly where, but um, probably somewhere around here. Um, we're going to work out the average of the x-axis, the average of the y-axis, and we're going to plot that average point onto the graph as a red cross. Okay, so um, in that case, um, we have done the grid and we've done the average point. Um, now, calculating the averages is quite a common thing to um, ask as an exam question so that's really useful um, but if that is um, not enough of a challenge for you then I've got something a little bit harder again um, now this is not something which uh, you necessarily would need for the computer science exam although you might want to use it in your internal assessment but it is something that will come up on your maths exam um, and that is doing a line of best fit okay so there is a formula um, to calculate the gradient of the line of best fit um, so if you manage to do the grid and you manage to do the average point on the graph um, then as an average uh, sorry as an extra challenge um, you could try to uh, find the uh, gradient of the line of best fit and then draw um, that line through the data um, onto the graph. Okay, so uh, I hope that all makes sense, guys. If there's anything that you didn't understand, um, just send me a message in the chat um, or uh, talk to me in the meeting. Um, and uh, good luck.